Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I wanted to show you how you can ungroup clip art and add some animations for some cool effects. Um, so for example, uh, with this phone, if you look at the phone on the right, I have it ungrouped and I added an animation. So it could be ring, ring, pardon the sound effects, that's me actually doing it. Um, then uh, same thing with this chart here. The one on the right is ungrouped and what I did was now I animated a build showing you know something's going up. So let's actually go ahead and get into PowerPoint and I'll show you how I built those. Um, so let's zoom out here a little bit and open the selection and visibility pane. Um, and uh, you know what? Let's just start from scratch here. Um, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of everything else here on the screen. Okay. So this phone is a piece of clip art um, and it's an EMF format, um, but I, let's just copy this over here. So I duplicated it, just held control and dragged it. Um, so now I want to make that phone ring. So if I do control shift G, which is ungroup, you could also right click ungroup and then say yes and then do it one more time. Everything's ungrouped. Now it usually has this box on top of it that's just this clear empty box. Let's just go ahead and delete that one. And let's grab the uh, three pieces of the phone that we want. So piece one, piece two, piece three, and I'm going to control G, which is group, and now it's its own group. So uh, the effect that made it ring was called a teeter. So if we go to add animation, and there's the teeter, there it is. So let's teeter once, and you know, let's go ahead and teeter again. Oops, let's add the animation again. So teeter. So you'll see over here in the animation pane, I have two teeters. Um, so if I hit play, ring, I did it twice right in a row. Anyways, that's twice. Um, it's going to be the same effect, uh, types of effects here, or the same method um, for this bar chart. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate it. Control D, or you can control drag. And let's drag this over here. And the same thing, we want to ungroup. And I'll actually do this with right clicking. So group, ungroup, yes, right click again, group, ungroup, we're good to go. There's that blank empty box on the top, let's delete that. And um, what I did here was uh, I did appear effects. So um, let's go ahead, appear the first one, followed by the second one, followed by the third one. And I believe this line is actually two things. Well, you can see this two little shapes. I just actually uh, hit control and select them both and let's group those together. Control G. Now they're grouped. That's just one object. And what I did with that was a wipe. So uh, let's wipe. And that doesn't look quite right. I did it from bottom to top. And so I actually I'd like to change that um, to be from left to right. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now if I preview these, ring, ring. That was a little too fast. Let's walk through this slide. Okay ring, ring, and then build, 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 wipe. So uh, those are a couple uh, simple effects that you can do, just ungrouping and adding some animations, but um, it allows you to, to do some creative things within an e-learning course. I um, hope you found that uh, useful. I'm working on a few more lessons on clip art and icons and recoloring and animating, so uh, if you want to see more of those, uh, you can just uh, go to my main page here. You can go to elearningart.com and, and find that, or um, if you're doing this on the screen or YouTube, just go to, to, my, uh, to my pages. Um, thanks so much.